I've got a question for you guys because I saw this video the other day. It came up on my TikTok view page of this bloke who had veneers. But they just like fell out, fell out. Yeah, which is ooh, Ugh. horrible. Um, would you guys ever get veneers? Uh, if I Malthus- lost all my teeth, uh, yeah, it's because you can lose your teeth through like uh, I don't know, like, having cancer and, and stuff like that. So if I lost my wow. teeth, so if you get cancer, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. did not. What ex- a cheery turn for I, this podcast. I did not expect that to. <laughs> no, but I think there's exceptions, but. <laughs> If, oh, what? Is one of the exceptions having cancer? Yeah, yeah, I think if that happens, or say I get like like whacked in the mouth and my teeth fall out. <laughs> I think you're a cartoon character, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> so, big, 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 Boing. Ha- big hammer. <laughs> they fall down dance. like bowling pins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, but. And they make keyboard noises as they hit the ground. Yeah, but um, I no um, if it, it Plus, I, I like that instead of just saying no, I wouldn't. You've decided to give like the real the terms and conditions as to if I had cancer or if I got whacked in the mouth. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, uh, no. If I got like healthy set of teeth, no, no. You, you just get like whitening and in in, like an Invisalign or something. I'm yeah, like, exactly. I know quite a few people with because they look daft, don't they? They look a bit daft. They look fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. they do look a bit stupid. Some people just look like they look. Like Bugs Bunny. Yeah. I mean, I, I might I think they're from... too straight. They're like gum shields. Yeah, genuinely. Like, it looks like, mm. you know, like when you're at Halloween, <clears throat> dressed up like a fucking vampire or whatever. It looks like a bit like that. It's a bit odd. But, you know, if it makes people feel better about themselves, who am I to judge? I don't give a fuck if it makes them feel better about themselves. It looks shit. <laughs> I don't know how they think it looks good. It looks shit. If so... you go to Turkey and do it, by the way, you get what you deserve. So they could absolutely murder an apple, though. <laughs> For a tennis racket. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I want to leave that in. I'm going to cut to you for that. I'm just going to cut to your reaction. No one needs to know what I just did there. Uh, what about hairline surgery? Yeah, I, I can get behind that. I could get behind that, I think. Um, I mean, I mean there's nothing wrong it, with hairline surgery because it's... Um, I mean, you could hopefully get behind that, Alex. I'd, I'd, in fact, I'd recommend it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so I've got my, my new beanie on um, because I got a haircut and I'm just, you know, it's all very short now. Yeah, your hair looks good. Thank you, mate. I've got you should have got a skin fade, but... <laughs> and white power tattooed across my chest. It's not quite the same. Yeah, part. I wouldn't put that white power at the same level as a skin fade. <laughs> well, I mean, no, pretty old Have you seen there. the bloke JJ's fighting? He's got a skin fade. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, dare he let him get in the room. <laughs> I like the idea that JJ handpicked that man out. Um, I saw... The, have you seen that Odeon's been added to Deliveroo? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's weird. Who the fuck's ordering from the overpriced popcorn? Imagine like, you get in. Oh, I'm fucking starving. Can't be asked to cook. Odeon's delivering. Just seven pound for a popcorn. Yes, please. It's a massive fucking box of popcorn <laughs> in a fucking one of those large cokes and a pick and mix. So does the bloke just put it in his bag? Just like a massive box of popcorn. Just hands it over to you when he gets to your house. Fuck me. Yeah, in a fucking pick and mix, man. The thing is, you wouldn't be able to order anything off the pick and mix because he'd have to. He charge you when you get to the door, like one of those card readers. Because you have to weigh it out and everything. <laughs> You just pick individual sweets, how many you want of that. I've done pick and mix on delivery before. Have you? How? Pick how do they do it? There's like, there's like other, you can get like, there's like places that just do pick and mix and you can just pick like 100 grams of this, 100 grams of that. Oh. And it's, it's good. I feel like that's, I don't know. Pick and mix is something I don't think. Well, do you expect him to turn up with a whole, like, <laughs> the, whole yeah. the whole thing? You just like, <laughs> what do you want, son? <laughs> it's like your doorstep. You're just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> your neighbour opens up the door. You've just got a whole stand in front of it. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have five Brazil nuts and two, two chocolate fudges, please. Who gets a Brazil nut for a pick and mix? You disgust me. No, nah, I, I used to get them to throw at people. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck that was rowdy so lad. Fun. Oh, they wonder if we could get asleep in that tent. Oh, Brazil, no, Brazil, Brazil nuts flying everywhere. What, are you throwing about people in the Odeon? Yes. Well, just randomers. No, 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 no. People who wouldn't shut the fuck up during um, Unstoppable. What, random people? Is that, is that a common occurrence? I don't normally get that in the cinema. I once had someone put their feet by my face <laughs> and I was very... It was during... Um, it was his day. <laughs> Everyone does that move. They went for like a... <laughs> no, it was during um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when that first came out. Oh, that's a perfect film for it. It is. And I was just sat there and I just <laughs> noticed something slowly come into my peripheral. And I'm like... <laughs> it was just some guy's bare feet. Oh, no. Oh, bare. no. Yeah, I was so... I was just going to be like... 
Because it was like between me and my girlfriend at the time. It just came there between us. <laughs> you, when, you go, when you go into Kiss at the cinema. <laughs> Just fucking. I just wanted to be like. I kept moaning, so like I was going to go like that to his feet. I would have licked him. I would have gone. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I would have put him off. Each, each to their own, but that's fucking weird. That would have put him off, really, wouldn't it? What's the weirdest thing to happen to you at the cinema? My one was there's that scene in The Hobbit where they're all. Actually, can I tell this story? Yeah, go on. Um, there's a scene in The Hobbit where you got like, like. I know, because I've only just realised now probably why that happened. Um, and. They're all hiding in barrels of fish, right? And they're being escorted in. And, you know, they're meant to be low-key. But then the guy's like, well, this is illegal fish. So he starts pouring the fish out. But the dwarves are in there. The dwarves are in the fish. So they're going to get caught, aren't they? They're going to get caught. And there's just this this guy on the other side of the cinema. Um, is he crying and screaming? Everybody... Everybody be quiet the whole time. He just goes... What a waste of fish! <laughs> And everybody just <laughs> <laughs> looks. <laughs> uh, why wouldn't you be allowed to tell this story? Is it, is the story? Well, I think now a... that he probably was with like a carer. So he probably, that's the way he... <laughs> Cause I well, mean, why do you assume that? Maybe he's just very... He was sat in that section. He's just a fishmonger. What section? The, the, there's a disabled is section. Is there? At the back, yes. Yeah. At the back, that seems pretty impractical up all the stairs. Well, man, you complain to the fucking odium. No, there's not a section up all the stairs. It's <laughs> at the bottom. Yeah, surely it's at the bottom. No, it's at the back. Well, you just wheel him up back up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> just get to the job. The point of a disabled section is to make it more accessible. <laughs> Not if you're the only and you hate disabled people. Yeah, that's all. There's never anyone there. Yeah, but to be fair, there isn't anybody ever really in the disabled section I, when I'm at the cinema. But that's because at the cinema, I go to nobody fucking is ever in there anyway. Well, yeah. I remember I went to see Lightyear, yeah. and there was me, Seamus Gorman, um, one other person, and a crying child for the entire duration of the movie. So um, what was already a boring film was even more unenjoyable. I don't know why people bring their kids to the cinema if they're going to cry. Just get, as soon as my child started crying anywhere, because you see this was a big thing, wasn't it? What? Do you see this? Like um, uh, somebody tweeted out about how it's rude to take crying kids to his comedy show and yeah. he got massive yeah. backlash for it. At Edinburgh Fringe, where you were. Yeah. But it is. Yeah, no, it's fucking irritating. Like a crying <laughs> child isn't going to... Be enjoying the show, is it? It's not really <laughs> for this, this, them. This brings me on to something that I was going to talk about. Like, what is your first, like, what's the first thing you can remember? Because there's like five years of your life that you just don't. I remember the day after I was born. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> that's a fucking lie. That's <laughs> not true. There's no <laughs> way you, you made this up in your head. I genuinely didn't. <laughs> you do not okay, what, did you get, what did you get up to? <laughs> I remember. Go on, day in the life. Well, I went to the shop. <laughs> I, uh, I, I remember because I was like, um, I, I asked my mum about Sorry, this. This is so stupid. You're you fucking mental. You don't remember no, this. I, that, I would take a fucking polygraph test. I remember like two seconds from the day after I was born. Well, that's not the same. I want you an old fucking day. No, I don't remember the whole which, fucking day. Yeah, what do you, you remember? I remember lying in like... Uh, uh, my mum. And there was a... <laughs> Right, no. <laughs> and then, Let me tell my fucking story. Suddenly, I came up. <laughs> I remember because, um, like, you know, when you're like a baby, the hospital takes like a picture of you or whatever. Yeah, you remember just going. No, I remember being like there, and I looked to my left, and there was like a teddy there, and I looked back, and then there was the photographer and he was taking a picture, and that's it. You're fucking foolish. You should like a. I'm not. I would take a baby. fucking lie detector. <laughs> Right, it's obviously this happened. Well, obviously then, this did happen. Right, okay, so and then this isn't like a, you know, this isn't like a lie. No, but I will say, I will happen. take a polygraph that says I remember. Get right. If we do this again, get someone in a lie detector guy. I will take a lie detector test. I do remember that. <laughs> okay, Fucking tune okay, in next time, okay, guys. Okay, after <laughs> after the second day of your life. Yeah. What after that? Would you remember? I don't know. <laughs> no, nothing. nothing. It's all kind of up until now. It's just completely blank. Wait a day. Describe the only two seconds. Do you remember you got it? Do you remember you got to the studio, George? <laughs> I, 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 the thing is, in that time, it's all kind of jumbled up. You don't really remember. Yeah, there's not really like a clear timeline. Well, apparently in, for yeah. you, there is. So. No, because that, I do. I do remember. I don't. I remember stuff from when I was maybe like three, like vague things, but. I remember having owl curtains when I was about three years old. That's about it. Yeah, I remember I had a Winnie the Pooh themed room and I had a really big Winnie the Beta. Pooh. 
Sorry. Page. <laughs> what about Eeyore? Yeah, fuck, that's I had an Andrew Tate themed room as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Make me the Al- crew into the album, which I have today. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Um, I think that's pretty much everything that I had written down for uh, this epic podcast uh, today, guys. Um, but if you could add one more thing to the delivery menu that doesn't deliver, what would it be? Prostitutes. <laughs> That'd be pretty convenient. Door to door. (laughs) That'd be pretty convenient, wouldn't it? (laughs) Your rider is completing another journey. Does that put you off? (laughs) Not if they're safe. (laughs) Well, great motto for the end of this podcast. That's a lesson to take. We should always do. I think we should do a motto at the end of all of them. So that's a bit of a life lesson. Um, Always practice safe sex, everyone. With the prostitutes. (laughs)